your local news source. This is breaking news. It is 7:30, and we need to get straight out to the west side of Indianapolis. 465, a semi had its axles knocked off, and that's making for a big mess. Kevin Rotterman, mobile news tracker, is there. What happened, Kevin? Good morning. I just spoke with the Indiana State Police Troopers here at the scene. They tell me uh, that the driver was taken to the hospital. Uh, it appears that this is a one vehicle crash just involving the semi. There was an, a secondary crash involving other vehicles, but everyone is okay. But this cleanup was initially estimated at three hours. It may take longer. I am told this is now a hazmat situation, which means they will not be touching the truck to clean anything up until they determine it is safe. There was a placard on the truck marking it uh, as a has. As a, uh, having hazardous materials inside, and I'm told uh, it may contain sodium hydroxide, which means uh, it, it, uh, they're treating it as a dangerous situation. Now, you see here this wrong way sign. If you look closely at it, it appears that the truck struck that sign and the end of this concrete wall I'm standing next to, which uh, appears to have caused this crash. And it's hauling two small trailers, the, the short semi trailers. The one you can't see is on its side behind the scene, but you can see this truck hit that wall. Uh, fairly hard for uh, something like this to happen. So as of right now, two lanes of northbound I-465 are still open. The exits for Crawfordsville Road and I-74 are still open on the west side. But as of right now, it is still unknown whether or not they will have to close the interstate because of this hazardous material situation. I will update as soon as I get, gather more information from ISP and I'll keep you updated right here from the scene. Here's Stephanie with a way to get around this massive backup. All right, thank you there for that update, Kevin. We're going to head straight to where that issue is, and here's just an additional vantage point of that. We have two of the right-hand lanes closed right now, so we have two additional lanes getting past this, but boy, is it causing a, an extensive backup for commuters heading northbound here along I-465. You just notice a large amount of emergency vehicles present at the scene, and you see traffic now scooting by on the two far left-hand lanes. This accident plotting at I-74 and I-465 north bound lanes there this backup extending now even past 40 so if you have to head northbound along I-465 your best bet is to take I-70 and take one of the city side roads continuing northbound there otherwise an additional accident 